Hi guys, happy Tuesday and welcome back to my channel, Couponing with Kayla. So we are outside of the Walmart this morning, about to head in here and check out some deals. Got a little later start than normal, but it's still, it's not even 9 a.m. yet. So you'll be seeing this a little later in the afternoon, but we're gonna head in here. We're gonna check out some deals. I'm working on two Ibotta bonuses right now. I have my midweek moneymaker bonus. Mine's only $1 this week. And I'm also working on a summer surprise bonus, which is also a dollar. I think one of them was 15 offers. One of them was 10 offers. And I have completed some of those, but I still need probably at least about eight more offers or so. And I'm also close to reaching, I think it's my level two or level three bonus for the month so I have an additional two dollars if I hit that so overall I can get maybe four dollars in bonuses today we'll see what happens so definitely let me know in the comments below what bonuses you're working on did you get a midweek moneymaker bonus maybe you got like a good five dollar one or three dollar one something like that so definitely let me know and of course once we go over the deals in the store I will go over my receipt with you once we get all done and if you're completely new to my channel welcome thank Thank you so much for being here and if you enjoy the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as well as hit that red subscribe button below and the notification bell so you don't miss any new ones I'll also have a printable list below the video so you can print that out take it to the store with you and it's gonna help make your shopping trip super easy so let's go ahead in here and check out the deals <laughs> The first deal that we're going to pick up today is on the All May eyeshadow. It is $5.38. I scanned this on Ibotta and there are two rebates attaching to this. So both for $3 each. So if we get both $3 rebates, that is going to end up making this completely free and a $0.62 cent money maker. I wanted to come over here and check the clearance aisle, see if they had any clearance makeup, anything like that. And I came across these Armor All disinfecting sprays. I know that we had a rebate for these, so I scanned it on Ibotta and there is a $3 rebate. It's on clearance for $4, so it would actually make it just $1, so that is definitely a pretty good deal. And guys, start checking on clearance on toys at your store. In the summertime, the clearance really starts coming on toys and it's a great time to stock up for Christmas. These prices should go even lower in July. So a few more that I saw here at my store are these Frozen. Um, they're marked down a little bit, not a ton. So if you can hold out, definitely wait a little longer. So next we're going to go ahead and grab some Arm & Hammer cat litter. As you saw there, it's $12.97. We are going to get these 8.5 pound boxes. You want to get the one that says clump and seal. It is the Absorbex or Absorbix. Um, we're going to grab two of these. So these are going to cost us $25.94 in the store. But on Swagbucks, check your app before you shop. I have not gotten this deal before on my Swagbucks app. So I'm super excited because it's $30 back when you buy two now there's also an arm and hammer rebate and i'm going to have it linked below the video they're going to give you the full price back of one of these so that's an additional 12.97 back that's going to make this a 17 dollars and three cent money maker next we've got a deal on this popcorn it is the popcorn indiana it's 294 there's a couple of different kinds here let me know if you guys have tried this but this black and white fudge drizzle one looks really good we have a dollar 25 or a dollar 50 i bought a rebate so that's gonna make it a dollar 44 for one pack so funny because these right here they're two dollars and fifty cents i was going to show you guys these last week and ask if you have tried any because it was something new and now we have an i bought a rebate for it so chloe tried the cinnamon toast crunch one last week she likes it pretty good i'm going to try that one again we may get another one for the kids but a dollar 25 back is going to make it 125 so next up, I'm going to grab some of these honey-made graham crackers. This is going to be for a Shopkick deal, but check out, there are Peely coupons on these. That's a dollar off of two Nabisco products. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab these chocolate graham crackers. Let me know if you've tried these. I have not tried these yet, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of those. I have this little um, tear pad coupon that I got a little while back, so this is going to go good for my Shopkick deal. So if you're looking for those Peely coupons, here's some other products that they have the Peelys on. So definitely keep an eye out for those. It's a dollar off of two Nabisco. 
And another Peely alert. This one is for a dollar off of one multi pack, and it has it on all these different multi packs. So that could definitely come in handy either at Walmart or another store on these products. All right, guys. So the next item I'm grabbing are these Hershey bars. This is a six pack. They are not four dollars and seventy six cents for the six pack of Hershey bars. They're actually three dollars and forty eight cents. I did scan them on my Walmart app just to make sure the price hadn't gone up. So I'm gonna grab a pack of these to go with my shopcake deal. So after I grab these, I only need to grab some marshmallows to complete this deal. I have done this swag bucks deal a few times, but I feel like it is a pretty good deal. Okay guys, so I have looked over these marshmallows here at my store. None of them qualify for the $1.50 rebate. I don't know if it's because they say mini on them and they're just for the regular marshmallow rebate, but we do have a $1.50 off of uh, the Jet Puffed and that is for, I think it said in the fine print, it was like a 16 ounce bag. So my store doesn't have that one. So unfortunately I can't get that. If your store has it for $1.76, you'd get $1.50 back making it just 26 cents. So that would be really awesome. Um, and you can submit it to Shopkick to save even more but what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna pick up one of these so guys um i got the hershey bars i got this pack of marshmallows and then I got the graham crackers. So with this deal right here for Shopkick, um, I was hoping to get a deal on Ibotta as well with the marshmallows. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna use this dollar coupon off the three products. After I use this dollar coupon, it's gonna take me from 834 to 734. I'm gonna get back 320 from Shopkick, which is 800 kicks between the scan kicks and the buy kicks. So it'll make it about 414 for all of this. I would have got two packs of marshmallows, but they only had one so I couldn't even do that buy one get one free marshmallow deal on Ibotta for this pack super random not a deal or anything but check out this space jam cereal it's been forever <laughs> since we watched space yeah. jam but me and the kids watched it a little while back all right guys, so I'm gonna attempt to show you this deal on the Mott's Mighty Apple Sauce. So it's not these right here, but hopefully I'll have one to show you. I asked an employee because there's none anywhere over here. So we looked it up on the app. It shows they have it in stock, but it's not out here. So I clicked on the picture and I was able to show him a barcode on the app. He scanned that and he said he thinks that it, since it's a new item, it might be in the back. So if he finds one, I'm gonna show you guys the deal because we have an I bought a rebate. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. So he brought me two of them from the back. And since he went through all that trouble, I'm just going to go ahead and buy two. But the deal is if you buy one for $1.98, you get a dollar rebate on Ibotta. Makes it 98 cents. But if you have bought the Mott's Mighty product uh, more than once, I bought the juice last time. So I'll get a 50 cents bonus. So that's going to make it 48 cents for one. And by buying two of these, I'm still going to come out super cheap. Next up, we're grabbing a deal on lunch meat. So right over here, these budding lunch meats, they're 72 cents here at my store. So I'm gonna pick up five of them. I'm gonna use this dollar coupon. It's a printable coupon. I'll have a link below the video. So five of them is 360, but if you subtract the dollar coupon, you are gonna pay 260, get a dollar back on Ibotta. It's gonna make it just 160 for all five. So here is another lunch meat deal. I really wanted to do this deal, but unfortunately my store doesn't carry the product. So it is the Hormel and it's this one right here. It's the smoked one. So you wanna make sure that's what you're getting. We have these dollar printable coupons. So they're 348 a pack. It would total you 696 for two packs. Use the two $1 coupons, pay 496 in the store, get $2 back for each pack on Ibotta. It would make it just 96 cents for two packs of pretty good lunch meat. So that's an awesome deal. So next we're going to go ahead and pick up some Sargento cheese. We're going to pick up the shredded cheese for $2.70. We have a dollar Peely coupon on it. Then I also grabbed some of the sliced cheese for $2.90 and there's a dollar Peely on it as well. So you can see here one is for the sliced and one is for um, the shredded and these are the creamery cheese. So these are going to total us $5.60 before coupons. After the two coupons, we'll pay $3.60. We'll get back $2 on Ibotta, $1 for each pack. And that's going to make the final cost $1.60 for both of these. So not a bad deal. You can also check your Fetch app for bonuses. I do not have any bonus for that product, but I've seen that some people do. All right, guys. So I think I've got everything in my cart. I'm about to head over to self-checkout. Lots of food deals today. So we're going to go ahead, check out, and then we'll go over my receipt once we get back to the house. 
So I just wanted to show you guys the screen here. I had a couple of issues here at checkout. Not a big, big deal, but I'll talk more to you about it in the car. All right, guys, so we are back in the car from Walmart. The transaction went well. Um, didn't really have an issue until I scanned my very last item, which was that Armor All um, disinfecting spray. As you could see in the store, there was tons of them that were tagged for clearance for $4, but it was ringing up regular price for $7.47. So the cashier came over, um, I showed her, and she scanned it with her um, scanner, and she was like, well, it's ringing up regular price, and I was like, well, it has a clearance tag on it, and there's tons of them back there if you need to verify or anything. Um, so she said, no, I don't need to verify, but then she removed the item from my receipt. Then she she manually typed in disinfectant and then put four dollars and so she was like oh yeah our new system this is the way we do it which I'm not really sure but of course my concern was okay am I gonna get my I bought a rebate or not because it may not pick it up that it's that item because of the way that she did that so I'm hoping that I'm still gonna get credit um, we'll go over my receipt in a second and talk about it but then the only other issue I had is after she did that it was in like the employee mode so I clicked go back to customer mode because I figured that's what I needed to do um, I scanned my coupon and each coupon scanned so there wasn't like a coupon beep or anything but it didn't take off the amount for any of my coupons which was really weird I've never had that happen where every one that scanned it didn't pop up like an error or anything like that just none of them came off so um, I called her back over thankfully she's nice the same cashier I got last time um, so she seems pretty coupon friendly she just looked at each coupon typed in one one dollar one dollar I only had four one dollar coupons so it's not like I had a ton today so thankfully um, that wasn't an issue and she was telling one of the other cashiers she was like yeah none of her coupons would even scan and she was saying that they were having a problem at another register so I think there was something up with their system today I'm not really sure but um, yeah hopefully you guys don't have any of those same issues but anyways we're gonna go ahead we're gonna head home we're gonna check out the receipts and talk final costs for everything so so excited I think we're gonna have a really really good deal today especially with that money maker cat litter so let's go ahead home and check yep, it out we're not having a cat. oh oh yeah we're not having a cat i told <laughs> actually like, we need to get water we need to get food i'm like no no we're not buying a cat we are just getting the cat litter it's gonna be a money maker and then we're gonna donate it <laughs> so <laughs> that's what we're doing with donate that did you want to show something show something he wants to show what he got in the store really quick because he, he had one like this that was kind of messed up a little so do you think that mom don't tell them i'm not oh, telling don't them. Tell them so do you think this is a person snake girl do you think that's a person <laughs> it can move so mm, now what is it It's not bad. <laughs> it's a person. Can you mm. tell what this person needs? Of course, he needs a mom. Oh, <laughs> needs a mom to take care of him, huh? Yep. Well, he can come home with us. I don't mind. <laughs> Look! Can you tell what this is? I'm going to party. He wanted that. He has a green bat at home that his nanny got him. But when he was smaller, he had ripped some of this off there. But now that he's bigger, he knows you don't want to do that because you want to keep your bat nice and all of that. So he really wanted a new green one because green's his favorite color. So you ready to take that home? Yeah, and look. Can you tell what these are? These are circle with little lines around them, which are hard. Kind of helps you grip it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. And also, he can't stand up. He's not good standing. He needs someone to hold him so oh. he won't like fall. Oh. See? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good thing he's got you there to catch him. <laughs> yep, and at least you need to take care of him. Okay. Feed him. I'll do that. <laughs> me, my puppy, and my my own person, and and me, and, and also Reba will eat all day. <laughs> yeah. Our dog Reba, she would eat all day if we let her. She eats about everything. She tries to eat anything. You drop something on the floor, it's like a vacuum. It's gone. <laughs> that was me trying to snap. I can't really snap. Snap with my nails. 
<laughs> All right, you ready to go home? Yep. Yep. All right, we'll see you guys at the house. Chloe, you got anything to add? Come <laughs> on, Chloe! I want a funnel cake. <laughs> you didn't remind me we were in the store to look for stuff to make funnel cakes. Well, I'm getting the Olivia Rodrigo Sour uh, album. <laughs> She's getting uh, the new Target Olivia tonight, Rodrigo so. CD, and we're about to pick that up on the Target pickup on the way home. So let's head home, you guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am back home, and this is my I bought a haul for this week. So not a huge haul, but mostly food. Literally, I think the only things that we got that were not food was that Arm & Hammer on, um, or, yeah, Armor All. That's what I'm trying to say. Armor All on clearance, and then the Arm & Hammer um, cat litter. So I'm going to go over my receipts with you guys, talk final cost, Everything right here before any coupons, before any rebates would have cost us about $62. I didn't use many coupons today. Honestly, I only used four coupons. Two of those were Peely coupons off of the cheese. One of them was the tear pad coupon for the Hershey and um, honey um, graham crackers and the Jet Puff marshmallows and then the printable coupon that I'll have below the video and that was for the lunch meat. So not many coupons at all and still got some great deals. Lots of Ibotta rebates. So if you're not signed up on Ibotta yet, Fetch Rewards, Shopkick, Swagbucks, all of that, I do have links below the video so that way you can sign up. I'll try to pop up on the screen where I'm submitting my Swagbucks receipt because a lot of you guys have said that you've had trouble with Swagbucks. And honestly, the other day I was having trouble even being able to upload a receipt at all, like not even being able to take the picture of it. Um, today, it didn't give me an issue. So I'll pop it up on the screen, kind of like what you need to hit and then how you can do that. Um, I think I screen recorded it to put it on the screen, so we'll see. But I went ahead, I did the two Arm & Hammer by themselves. Now, the reason I did that is because it's just easier for them to pick it up for swag bucks. So on that receipt, you can see right here, I got the two Arm & Hammer Absorb X. I don't know how you say that, but it is $12.97 each. So two of them was $25.94 plus tax. Now, as you guys know, I don't add tax into my totals. And the reason for that being is because everyone's tax is different. As you can see, my tax is kind of high. So we're just looking at the $25.94. So it was $25.94. If you submit your receipt to Swagbucks, they give you back $30. You can then take that $30 and you can cash it out for a gift card or you can cash it out for real money. So what I normally do is I cash it out to PayPal and when you cash it out to PayPal, they will normally take maybe a couple of days to get it to your PayPal so it's not as quick as I bought it. So just keep that in mind if you are spending that much out of pocket on the cat litter. It will take a couple of days before you get that money back. But overall, it's a great deal because you're paying $25.94, getting $30 back. So it's already completely free and a little bit of a money maker. But also on the Arm & Hammer site, I'm going to have it linked below the video. So that is a rebate going on for these exact ones, the 8.5 ounce, I believe it is. They're giving you back the full amount for one of these. So it's kind of like a try it for free type deal. So if you haven't done that yet, you could go ahead and do that. That is $12.97 that I should get back for one of those since that's how much the individual one cost. So with it already being a money maker, you know, it just makes it an even bigger money maker because we're getting back a total of what, $42.97 and we paid $25.94. So that's really awesome. Then everything else I did on my regular receipt. The only trouble I had on my receipt when I started to submit to Ibotta, I had the lunch meat didn't pop up automatically. So I had to add that in. If you have to go back and add it in, you just have to scan the barcode on each one so they know that you're buying the correct item. Then as I suspected, I did have trouble with the Arm & Hammer, um, I keep saying Arm & Hammer, oh my gosh. Uh, Armor All disinfectant because of the way that she voided it off and then just typed it in. So I did have to um, manually do that and then um, I sent them a little thing just so that way they know, so that way I'll get credit for it. So 
hopefully that will all work out because sometimes it'll show that offer pending because it's not sure if you got the right thing all of that so if you look right here on my receipt you can see everything all the lunch meat ring it for 72 cents each so it hasn't gone it's gone up a little at my store we had the two cheese one was 2.95 and one was 2.70 then i had the mots and that was a dollar 98 each then we had let's see here what was that for a dollar 38 the marshmallows okay and then the chocolate and the graham crackers the all my eyeshadow and then we had that cinnamon toast crunch oatmeal so everything there you can see oh and the popcorn it was $32.53 after my coupons. The reason you don't see any coupons underneath each item like normal is because they were having issues. It wouldn't scan. So there are my four $1 coupons up there at the top. I don't know why they're at the top. It's all weird, you guys. But anyways, those are my four um, $1 coupons. So that was um, my total after the coupons was $32.53. So I did pay that with my PayPal debit card. But like I was talking about on Ibotta, I did get back a total of $16.75 just for the rebates alone. Then I got a 50 cent bonus for the Mott's Mighty because the last time they had the Mott's Mighty Juice on a rebate. So I got the juice. So this time, since it's my second time buying a Mott's Mighty product, I got the extra 50 cents. Then I got my $1 midweek moneymaker bonus. I got my $1 summer surprise bonus and then my $2 was it level two, level three? I can never remember. And so I got that bonus as well. Now that was all that I got back from Ibotta. Then I also got back $3.20 on Shopkick. And that right there was for the little bundle deal for the Hershey bars, the marshmallows, and the graham crackers. So that's everything, you guys. So total, we paid $58.47 at the store between those two receipts. And with all the money we got back from all of our apps, this ended up being completely free and an $8.95 moneymaker. And that's counting in that $12.97 I'm going to get back from Arm & Hammer as well. So I feel like that is a really awesome deal, all of this for free. Of course, if you don't have the $4 in bonuses, if you were still doing these same deals and same rebates, you would come out a $4.95 moneymaker. So still a moneymaker deal. I'm really excited. I got the lunch meat, the cheese. Um, I like splurge kind of on the Hershey full size bars. You can get the smaller one, but the reason that I get those is because we use that for lots of stuff. When I make brownies, I melt the Hershey bar on top of it. When we do the s'mores, I use these. So those come in handy for me. So that's why I wanted to go ahead and get them. Wish I could have gotten two packs of the marshmallows to do that rebate. But I'm telling you, my store did not have any of the marshmallows that qualified for the rebate except for the one pack of these. And you had to buy two to get that rebate. So that was kind of out. Chloe had tried that last week. She likes it. So we got that again. And then the Mott's Mighty. Axel loves applesauce, especially the cinnamon kind. But we're trying out the strawberry peach one this time. So I'll definitely let you guys know if that's good. Let me know if your kids have tried it or if you've tried it. And let me know if you've tried the popcorn too because that definitely looks pretty good as well. So I think that is everything that I have for you guys. Don't forget that I'm going to have a printable list below the video. You can print it out, take it to the store with you. I'll have a link to the printable coupons and to the rebate. So if you are doing those same deals, you can do that. Sorry, my dogs are growling at each other under the table. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's all. I feel like there was something else I was going to tell you guys, but... If there is, I'll pop it up afterwards. Anyways, I hope that you guys have a good rest of your week. Let me know in the comments below what deals you're going to pick up. And if you are new to my channel or if you've been watching for a while and you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. And you can also follow me over on Instagram where I post little deals throughout the week. So I would love to have you over there as well. But I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.